All right. Ladies, gentlemen, and kitties, today, thanks to Moto Guzzi of North America, I'm at Laughlin River Run 2018, and this is the Moto Guzzi V73 Stone. Here you go. This is my first time riding this bike. Basically, this is like their one of their retro heritage bikes from Moto Guzzi from Italy. The, the name is Stone and the color is green so you know what that means. Stoner. <laughs> oh boy. The briefing went so fast so I can't I don't have the time to to prep myself a bit but right now I'm here I'm happy. Oops. Damn that guy. So this is the V73 model. Essentially what I'm riding right now is the base model of the V3, uh, V73 series. I keep saying V3. Whatever. The V7, as what uh, the representatives told me, this engine, this uh, V-twin, a parallel V-twin, which is one of those oddball engines in motorcycles. This... Uh, this layout is pretty unique to say the least but on the sa at, sa at the same time if you ride the R1200 or the uh, the R9T you'll be very familiar with its characteristics as you can see the two cylinders are in parallel configuration like some front wheel drives or whatever or the boxer twin see when you idle it uh, when you're in idle and then you're trying to rev it it pitches sideways see <laughs> so Moto Guzzi is one of those Italian motorcycle manufacturers that are that's under the radar at the moment they don't get the same fanfare as let's say the Ducatis the Aprilias or maybe the Bimora so this or Envia Gusta there you go so Moto Guzzi is basically uh, one of those uh, Italian uh, Euro bikes that tries to emanate the American feel as you can see those Harleys right there so far so good one thing I noticed initially as I squeeze the throttle that this bike is very punchy and it feels very light I'm surprised this bike feels lighter than I think similarly to the R9T Pure on which this bike competes with it feels small it feels like I'm riding a 700 cc bike ergonomics check I'm 6'3 200 to 220 pounds and I'm completely flat-footed uh, cruiser style but the peg the the pegs kind of touches my calf area so you can just adjust it you know you can spread out or whatever but so far so good I like the nimbleness of this thing it, it feels basic at the same time very classic feel it's like I'm riding a scale sized Harley and looks like this bike has a rev limiter a rev light counter but it doesn't have a tachometer the side mirrors has a nice wide uh, angle of coverage but its adjustability is basically limited I was unable to tilt it up and right now we're getting to the nice one this route is pretty different than the Honda that I did or the uh, 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 that I did from the other manufacturers too the route this is really different so far so good um, well cruising at higher gear right now and vibration wise this uh, the handle this handlebar emanates significant amount of vibration. The vibration frequency, I think it, it goes between the Ducati Food Blender and the Harley Davidson Wiggly Jiggly low frequency vibes. The same amount of vibes is emanating through my pegs on my foot, but on the seat, it's very comfortable. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't creep up to your butt. Because the padding is so thick, you won't notice it, but your hands definitely will. Comfort level wise is that um, I sit really up front. For my 32 inch inseam, it feels like I'm riding in a Harley Davidson street rod. I don't have that much leg room in my opinion. I feel kind of cramped at some point. The 
upper torso position it feels a slightly is it is as aggressive as the r9t but not to the point that is overly aggressive like the octane does but of course the octane your foot is uh spread forward instead of this so the instrumentation here is pretty basic you got your odometer and then there's a mode switch here oh there's a gear selector oh my gosh for you to uh, adjust this lcd gauge over here you can just press the mode over here on your right it's kind of cumbersome to use but you want to get used to it it's okay you got the time you got the average miles per hour your average miles per gallon and then there's your instant miles per gallon counter the temperature outside which is like stupid 99 degrees the clock i'm not gonna take care of that and then mgct i don't know about that the odometer what really what really strikes me is it has a gear indicator rev matching in this bike is pretty easy the front brakes has that has a little bit of a play Wow, this bike is very flicky, very light feeling. Oh, it has five speed, a oh, six speed manual transmission. Well, oh, that's pretty good. At a low revs like right now, it feels, it vibes really hard. You gotta downshift it to ease the vibration on this bike. But you cannot expect too much on this bike. This, this bike is a standard heritage style bike that is made in Italy. Makes me wanna eat some pasta with my buttaguzzi. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's, it's like, it, it, it feels like I'm eating penne. There's some, well, it's like this bike, it's green, but it doesn't, the taste doesn't kick you too much. But it has some character though, well, I, I can't say anything about it. It, it, it's a, it gives me a relaxing sensation, it's just the handlebar. The vibrations on this uh, handlebar is pretty significant. The clutch spring resistance is pretty good, it's pretty easy. Not too light, not too heavy. And the gear selector is very tactile. You can really feel the gears engaging on it. The front brakes, it has a slightly bit of a play uh, I haven't tested the the rear brakes just yet let me see how how much does it have oh almost no play very direct well the front brakes has somewhat of a play I don't know if I can lean more than this okay we're gonna hit it One thing I like about this bike too, it has a rev light. So, you're second guessing uh, how much revs that you're doing, but good thing it has a rev light. And it shows you gear up, gear up. That's a nice feature on, on gauges like this. I like that. It makes a beginner like me, a clueless guy like me, to notice that when to ship up on a on a bike like this. As we're riding at the freeway right now, of course this bike is light, but it doesn't flop me around too much. Of course, if I'm, if I'm getting out of the tunnel, I might be flopped around and stuff. But so far, just like a typical naked bike or a windshield less bike, it doesn't bubble my head too much and I'm getting enough wind for me not to sweat. Well, I have a breathable Olympia jacket here. Yeah, it's a good cruiser. I would say this is good. This bike is better for inner city or suburban uh, jumps or occasional twisties in the mountain. But on the highways like this, uh, I don't know. Unless if you're used to riding Harleys or naked bikes like this. Right now, the wind is pushing me back right now. I have to dive a little bit just to stabilize myself this bike is just stupid brand new it has only 18 miles on the odometer the bite on the clutch lever is somehow leaning towards release 
it, it bites close to the release part of it but uh, let me test it once we get it to a dead stop and we'll see from there unfortunately too if you want to hear the engine I'm on my earplugs right now you got to have an aftermarket exhaust on this because I can barely hear the engine you can feel the engine yeah the bite on my clutch uh, the clutch lever bite is somewhat near to the middle towards to the full release so just a heads up and also be very careful on this bike when you suddenly accelerate this bike because this bike has whoa torque <laughs> this bike can pull you unexpectedly it's basically a cruiser like it's a basically a Yamaha FZ09 that is a cruiser well of course XSR 900 is there but that's besides the point XSR is more of a a retro bike and this one is a heritage type bike that is towards the cruiser style like the street rod right here at Laughlin Nevada at the river run lots of activities lots of cops <laughs> that's for sure yeah you gotta adjust your the pegs are overly wide but the good thing is this one has dual exhaust on each side and there's the the v-twin right here on each side what the good see it's like penny it's not spicy bit of all yet but it's okay you know it's a bike that you can relax around but I got I gotta fix the vibration to the handlebar first see, look at that it, it just like the flat twin or a flat six this bike vibrates sideways it goes see it's like riding a R9 T neutral is easy to put so that's that's perfect looks like I'll have a hard time finding the kickstand later you have to really look back to look for the kickstand you have to accustomed to this bike which is good right now we're gonna test its uh, low speed maneuverability so far the throttle is really good I'm impressed with the throttle it's not herky-jerky it's not grabby whatsoever Let's see how oh nice even a walking speed I can hold it on my own see the gra the throttle is not grabby which is good the throttle is not herky-jerky which is perfect it's an easy bike to ride as a beginner you can definitely bring this to the MSF course if you so willing to see the torque will just carry you on on the low low speed maneuvers I am very impressed despite the vibes of course because with all of this Italian Italian motorcycles you gotta have character they got the vibe oh well that's how they do it Ducatis I never read it on a playlist yet hopefully so I want to ride a Tuono but besides the point I'm just glad the Moto Guzzi had the chance to let us test ride these bikes very nice stiff but not overly sprung their truck is kind of deceiving because on one side it's Moto Guzzi and the other side is the RSV Aprilia <laughs> it's very it's like a two-face I'm Tommy Lee Jones and I'm two-face where's Batman alrighty we're back at the Moto Guzzi booth alrighty put it to neutral okay neutral off off and the kickstand is pretty hard to find but there you go the swing is kind of wide so here you go the Motoguzzi stone the V73 oh shaft driven as you can see it has shaft drive just like the R9T I like the touch of the dual exhaust on the side very classic look see it has that uh, flat black here flat green over here stone green you know what it means 
Uh, the brakes. The brakes are Brembo. Oh my gosh. There's the famous V twin over here. Yeah, I, I think the pegs are too big for this bike, but it's okay. It works. All right. The Moto Guzzi V73 Stone. Thumbs up. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.